I think colonialism, you know, uh, left incredible. Uh, I mean, uh, I mean, is uh, how would I say indelible, indelible scratches on our, our music that we can never, never wipe out, can never erase, because uh, uh, the, the, it's like a tuition. It, 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 it manifested in the form that you see progress in your, your traditional you know, environment and, uh, and uh, music and uh, you know, dance. Uh, Adwa and Adinkum and Asafo were looked down like uh, uh, you know, the old days. So people moved into wearing ties and dancing jazz and you know, so you could see that the culture was at conflict with our own tradition. And then, uh, as a boy, uh, uh, you become a victim of, uh, you, you know, um, uh, you see, uh, you, you are either, you can't be tra traditional anymore. The music is changed, your environment is changed. And then, the, the fight against colonialism started in Ghana, you know, vigorously. And we were all shouting slogans, you know. As young boys, we were shouting slogans. Freedom, 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 freedom. You have the urge, you have the, uh, uh, the impetus to say that, uh, hey, no, now we, we can manage our own affairs. So, uh, 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 white men, uh, uh, leave it to us, you know. But uh, there was no much violence in uh, Ghana at Gokos then. So we, we, we did it amicably, like a, a, a settlement. You know, uh, the, the, the English were very cooperative and you know, understood. You know. So it wasn't like in South Africa or elsewhere that we had to come to rallies with spears and bows and arrows. You know, uh, we just shouted the slogans, freedom, 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 freedom. And it was friendly. So. And, and, and constitutional, the British found it, you know, very uh, soft to deal with this. So, as a, as a, as a, as a growing up, you know, boy, you, you learn the manners of political behavior, you know, and at the same time, uh, uh, music wasn't part of the political adventure. So, we were not creating songs like Mali and uh, uh, Fela and, you know, sang those days. Our traditional singers, when he sang about, you know, uh, their idol, Kwame Nkrumah himself. You know, he's a show boy, and that was all. They were not insulting anybody. They were not, you know, so the music stayed as it was. Amicable and friendly, you know, loving and, uh, 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 you know, smooth.
Africa. No day shall raise thee from the records of time. You will always be remembered and your enemies forgotten. It's not right to say, uh, stand up, get up for a ride, and you know, that kind of thing, you know, or, uh, uh, you see, like, um, you know, I, I always, you know, say stuff, things like that, even to Ben, and tell him, man, I don't like this kind of, you know, uh, lyrics to creep into my music, political, you know, too strong political meaning, you know, and I don't think that's entertaining. Music is meant to entertain the whole world. You know, your music can go to Russia and it should be entertaining. You can go to America and there's not, there's not you know, a uh, uh, or militancy or you know, against anyone. 